Big changes in the works in Gary, Indiana. Mayor Karen Freeman Wilson, who's held her job for eight years, is on her way out, defeated in a primary by Lake County Assessor Jerome Prince. CBS2 political reporter Derek Blakely looks at what's behind this change. When she was elected Gary's mayor back in 2011, Karen Freeman Wilson seemed to embody new hope. But among voters, that hope turned to frustration. It's hard for someone who's looking for a mayor or an elected official or leader to do something today to hear, well, this is decades of decline that you're trying to recover from. Lake County Assessor Jerome Prince pulled off the upset. I have a proven record of efficiently managing your tax dollars while delivering first class service. Focusing on his 19 years of government experience and budgetary management. We would immediately perform or get the permission from the state to perform an independent audit so that we could determine where we are financially. A Harvard-trained attorney with state and national political connections, Freeman Wilson did lure some new industries. But at the same time, they weren't addressing, it, in my opinion, the residential problem of, of abandoned homes and, and blight and being able to tear those down and, and, and move on with new development. And street violence jumped. 17 Gary murders in this year's first quarter. We had a haphazard and horrible uh, increase in violent crime this year, and that certainly did not help. Because there's no Republican contender, Jerome Prince will become Gary's new mayor, but not until December. Meantime, Indiana Governor Eric Holcomb today signed off on moving Gary's Majestic Star Casino away from the lakefront to develop the harbor as a cargo transfer site. It's a project Mayor Freeman Wilson championed that could eventually produce thousands of Gary jobs. Reporting live in the newsroom, Derek Blakely, CBS2 News. Brad and Erica. Yeah, I got to keep our eye on Gary. Thank you, Derek.